Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Reading with Mrs. Peppa. This week, this upcoming week, we have a very important thing that is happening in our country, our elections, and we are so fortunate to live in a country where everyone gets the right to vote. And it's an important opportunity to uh, vote for things that are important to you and things that you care about. And so in honor of the election, I am bringing back one of Anza's favorites, which was actually requested by a special fifth grade class called Duck for President. Some of you might remember this one. It is written and illustrated by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. And Duck thinks being a leader is easy. Duck for president. Ooh, an airplane going over. Vote. Very important that we all vote. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs clean under the beds. Cows weed the garden. Sheep sweep the barn. Duck take out the trash, mow the lawn, grind coffee beans. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies. The cows are covered in weeds and the sheep are covered in dust. And duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made a sign and hung it up in the barn. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering to vote. Voter registration. Voters must, one, live on the farm, two, show valid ID, and three, be at least this tall. Mm, the mice are a little upset about that. Duck has crossed off that part. The mice get together and protest the height requirement, so Duck crossed it off. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in the box. The vote was counted, and the results were posted on the barn wall. Farmer Brown 6, Duck 20. Farmer Brown demanded a recount. One sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of a pig. The new tally, Farmer Brown 6, Duck 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Hmm, running a farm is no fun at all, thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign for governor. Vote for me. I'm a duck, not a politician. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners. He marched in parades. The signs say, vote for me, a duck, not a politician. Vote duck. He went to town meetings. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. The vote was counted, and the results were posted in the local paper. Duck wins by a nose. Ms. Governor, 299,999 votes. Duck, 300,000. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of a plate of pancakes. The new tally, Miss Governor, 299,999, Duck, 300,002. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a state is very hard work. 
At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Oh, running a state is no fun at all, thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. A duck for change. I like duck. Duck making us proud again. Duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies and local diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on late night television. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the country. The vote was counted and the results were announced on CNN. Decision America. Mr. President, 50,546,165 votes. Duck, 50,546,170 votes. The president demanded a recount. Mm, ten sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the vice president. The new tally, 50,546,165 for Mr. President and Duck received 50,546,180. ,000, the voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a country is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, thought Duck. Then he checked the Help Wanted ads. Duck needed no experience necessary. Must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck is working on his autobiography. The end. Okay, Anza, I hope you liked one of the, our very favorites, Duck for President. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week.